Hi guys. I bought this little USB fan in the bargain store yesterday. Bargain store called Watt, W-H-A-T, exclamation mark. Uh, I did buy one of these several years ago from B&M Bargains and made a little car with it. And that's exactly what I plan to do today, a little fan-driven car. Um, when people see these on videos, they put big warning messages in. Don't plug them into your laptop because they might blow it up or cause problems because there's no protection in there. The wires just go straight from the power to the little motor that's in there. Anyway, so what I plan to do, this is one of my little power banks made from vape batteries. And this is a 3D printed car that I made for testing the power up fan uh, for little paper aeroplanes. But I thought if I print another one, which I've just done, we can just tape that on top of it and it should work. And this one's designed to go round a tether, which is why it's got holes on it, so we can run it round on the floor over there. If you can hear a noise in the background, that is a solar windmill that I have in the window, and it's incredibly noisy. Right, you just go on here like this. And then what I'll do is I'll use a hot knife just to melt the end of them to stop them falling off. In fact, I'll go and do that. And then come back. But you can see the principle. These little washers just stop the wheels going on too far. The wheels are actually beveled, so they're quite narrow at the top. And yeah, I'll just melt the ends over back in a minute. Right, there we are. I've melted the ends over. So that holds the wheels on. Then we'll either tape it or stick it on there one way or the other. And stick that on there. And we'll give it a run. I'll give it a run on the floor just like that. And then we'll look at putting a tether on it if it goes and see if we can get it going around in a circle. I'll just unplug that for now. That slot there was for the power up. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the video description. It's a little attachment for paper aeroplanes that turns them into electric powered aeroplanes. And it has a little slot in it that goes in the slot of the middle of your paper aeroplane. Anyway, I'll stick that on there, plug that in, and we'll see if it runs along on the floor. It's got a bit of blue tack on there. Ah, design problem. Well, we should be able to bend that up. Yeah. Okay. Picking up speed. Yeah, that works. <laughs> we can't get much simpler than that. Yeah, we're due to go out now for our daily cup of coffee. So when I come back, I'll see if I can rig up the round the pole or tether so it can go round in circles. Right, we won't be doing a tethered run with it. It just doesn't have quite enough power. The extra drag of going round in a circle is stopping it. You can see it's starting, but... Yeah. Too much friction. Or drag as it's going round. 
I expect with larger wheels, like I usually use CDs, it might be free enough. You can see the wheels go out of alignment anyway, so that makes them drag. Yeah. Okay, we'll abandon this idea for now. All right in a straight line, but can't handle the drag of the tether. That's my little tether. It's a ball race in there so it's got low friction turning and that's a microwave fan that's sorry microwave oven transformer so it's good solid weight but that can't it can't go round in a circle so we'll give up for now straight line we're okay but as soon as it tries to turn it tries, it tries to do it, but it just can't do it. <laughs> I just said it can't do it. I gave it a bit of a push to get it going. We nearly got a full circuit. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.